Welcome back to the Navy Sports Magazine. Time to shine the light on baseball right now as we talk with Tommy Goodridge. And, you know, Tommy, for you and your teammates, what's what's the challenge like right now? Starting, stopping, certainly in terms of game competition. I know you can go in the batting cage there and uh, get out on the turf field uh, when the weather allows a little bit more maybe than some other teams here in the Mid-Atlantic and on the East Coast. But, you know, what's the challenge right now with all the starting and stopping in terms of game competition here early in the season? Yeah, it's pretty tough, but um, I think we're doing everything we possibly can to to stay in the best shape as possible. Um, guys going out there one at a time or whatever it may be, uh, we're all just trying to um, – we know we're, we're just one decision away from being back out there. So um, guys are doing their best to stay in shape. And, uh, it, you know, it's disappointing to get the news that we're not able to play here and there. But, um, like I said, we're, we're always one decision away from playing again. So um, – just try to stay on top of conditioning and throwing and swinging the bat whenever possible is uh, got to give us the best opportunity to be ready when, when we're called upon. I was going to say as a pitcher right now, what, what is the routine like for you? Uh, you know, you guys have terrific facilities. That's one of the good things uh, of playing baseball at the Naval Academy. What's the routine for you right now as a pitcher, just to make sure you stay uh, at, at, in peak shape right now. That way when the button gets pushed, you're ready to go. Yeah, for the pitchers, we've had actually uh, we've had one guy be able to go out at a time, um, a couple of times a week, and uh, we're actually just thrown into a net. So um, we've gotten a couple of bullpens in, uh, a couple of days of just long toss. Uh, but yeah, we're pretty much playing catch with a net by ourselves out there, um, just in, well, not even in groups, but just one at a time uh, throughout a given day. And uh, I think I've been out there maybe three times in the last week. So um, it's pretty tough, but um, just so getting your throwing in and then on your off days, uh, just staying up with conditioning and uh, get whatever you really need in to feel loose and, you know, stretching out or whatever it may be so that uh, when you do get to get, get out to the field, you're able to uh, play good catch and uh, work on your craft. So far, a couple of opportunities with Mason and Coppin State for you all from a competition standpoint. Uh, just thoughts on the first four games, how they went, some of it and some incredibly – uh, inclement weather, uh, quite frankly, for the sport of baseball. Uh, but uh, what what was it like over those first four games uh, for you and your teammates? Yeah, I think guys were just really excited to get out there, um, you know, especially given a lot of us had our season last year cut short. Um, guys were really excited to get out there. You know, it was pretty competitive fall, and uh, guys were really looking forward to actually getting out there and seeing uh, different teams this spring. So, um, it was exciting, uh, not for just me and the seniors, but for all the younger guys as well. Um, you know, we have a lot of freshmen out there. So uh, I know they're excited to get their first college games under their belt. So, uh, yeah, it's pretty exciting for, for all of us to get out there. And, you know, it's a little disappointing right now that we can't be playing, but uh, pretty eager to get back out there as soon as possible and uh, see some, some different faces. Did you ever come to grips – with the way last season ended for you all as a team, because you were playing such good baseball at that time. And I mean, we know once it comes tournament time, you know, you're only as good as the next game you're playing. So you can't project what could have been, but did you ever come to grips with the way last season ended because of how well you all were playing? Yeah. I mean, it was pretty tough. It was disappointing. I remember we were about to get on a road trip to go down to or up to buck now. And uh, just to have that season kind of take away from us was was really disappointing, um, especially since we were on, like you were saying, just such a good role. And uh, we were playing pretty well and things were clicking. Um, so it was tough, but um, eventually, I mean, we had to come to terms with it. And uh, especially this year moving forward, uh, you know, for a lot of us, like whatever happened last year, it's in the past. Um, we just got to keep uh, keep doing what we know we, we can do and uh, improve on this season. You talked about having uh, the freshmen out there for you and your fellow seniors. You know the, the job is leadership uh, so far. You know, how have you and the other seniors, you know, led through, you know, some challenging times uh, right now? This place is challenging enough uh, when things are normal. But uh, so far, how have you all developed uh, your leadership ha habits, especially with uh, the young players uh, that are eager, as you said, uh, to get out there and, and play some right now? Yeah, you know, right now it's especially tough because those, those guys are uh, excited to get out there and get on the field, and they are some of our uh, kind of impact players. Um, 
So just kind of keeping their heads up and making sure that they're moving in the right direction. They have the right mindset. Um, they're taking their, their off time. They're, you know, making the best use of their time. Uh, as far as baseball wise to make sure that they're ready to go when we're ready to get back, when we are allowed to get back out there. Um, just making sure that they're not uh, taking too much of this to heart and knowing it's just part of the process here and we got to keep moving forward. There's been such a quality, you know, of groundwork laid uh, before you and as seniors right now, do you all feel, I, I don't think pressure is the right word, but certainly obligation to make sure that the, those work habits that have been so successful for Navy baseball uh, stay that way and maybe even try to raise them uh, a little bit here uh, on your way out? Yeah, no, most definitely. Um, you know, we've had some pretty some pretty good senior classes come through this place and uh, set the bar pretty high. So uh, we're just kind of trying to live up to their standard, their expectation, and, uh, you know, surpass what they've done and uh, be, if not the best class to – to come through this Navy baseball program. Uh, you know, we've ca- come up a little bit short the last couple of years, major league championship games. Um, so one of our biggest goals is to, uh, to win the major league championship and give ourselves some uh, extra baseball in main gym. You guys played, uh, you played on a, a terrific high school team uh, with some great teammates. A, how did you all ever lose a game with the quality of team uh, that you all had? And, and what eventually, you know, led your path uh, to the Naval Academy here. Yeah, I, I, uh, I had a pretty, uh, different route getting here, uh, through prep school in San Diego state. Um, finally ended up at the Naval Academy, a uh, little bit of a journey to get here, but, uh, glad I'm here now and I uh, get the opportunity to play for the, for the midshipmen. Um, but yeah, I did have some pretty awesome, uh, high school teammates. They're all, a lot of them are still playing ball now. And, uh, it was just, uh, it was always nice to play with a group of guys who whose talent level was so high just because it, it pushed me to uh, work harder and, uh, you know, set the bar with the rest of them and be up there. You mentioned the path you took, obviously, with stops at, at prep school and, and San Diego State. Why was it important to you uh, to continue along that path to eventually get here to the Naval Academy? I know some – get discouraged when they may have to take a, a brief detour early in the proceedings, but what allowed you to keep at it here and obviously get here to get uh, one of the world's best educations? Yeah. I mean, definitely. I think, uh, you know, the long-term aspects of this place uh, definitely were in my sights. Uh, I thought it was a great opportunity to uh, be able to receive a great education, serve my country and uh, play division one baseball at the same time. So I think the, the three of those things really, were kind of my pushing factor. Uh, there was no doubt that there were some uh, tough times in there, I guess, where uh, I wasn't sure if this was going to work or uh, if it was going to pan out for me. But, uh, you know, just kind of keep on moving, keep on pushing was kind of my mindset at the time. And uh, I'm glad it worked out the way it did. No doubt. Job well done, big fella. Congratulations on what you've accomplished so far. And hopefully you and your teammates get to put a little exclamation point on this season. Uh, when you get back out there. Appreciate the time today and best of luck with the rest of the season. Thank you. Appreciate it.